Hey guys, so today is the coldest day in Austin since 1989 and the power is out so me and my friends basically all huddled together at one person's house and we're gonna go sledding and there's probably like five inches of snow and it barely ever snows in Austin let alone sticks to the ground so we're gonna go outside and yeah it's freezing all of our heaters obviously don't work because the power's out so we're all struggling together it's so cold in the house that you can see our breath <sighs> Okay, we're gonna try and go sledding in this bucket. We're off. In the car! Okay. Millie, you stay. No, 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 Millie, stay. Millie! No. Millie! <laughs> Millie! Millie! Millie, no! Go over, Millie. No! <laughs> we're heading to go to sledding! sledding. <laughs> and we've got the top. <laughs> They didn't want to do that. No, they're they not in the <laughs> Wait for the wind, wait for the night. Stand here a while, take a little time. Since you went away, you came to a halt. Silence is everywhere, and you're not. Oh, sorry. Cheese finished. I see. Hey guys, is it your I, turn, Sabrina? It is my turn. I gotta borrow your camera sometime. Quick update. We are back in the house, but the power has it came back on and then it went off again. So now we're powerless and it's getting dark. So we are on a mission to try and find as many candles and as many headlights as we can <laughs> before it gets too dark to be able to see anything. So let's oh this candle, we got a candle. It's like barely burning, but yeah. And we've pretty much had a blackout since three o'clock this morning. So we've been freezing. We're all like huddled in this little nook area to try and like keep our body warmth up. Uh, and now we're trying to find lights. So let's find some lights and then get back to playing games, I guess. We'll see. So before it got dark, we decided that we were gonna set up a tent. Luckily, my friends are big hikers and we'd seen on the news that putting a tent up could help with body heat. And since there were gonna be six of us staying there, we thought we could all fit in the tent and stay warm even without power in this freezing house. We spent the rest of the night playing board games and basically just playing Never Have I Ever, Truth or Dare, all that fun stuff, which was actually really fun, even though we're kind of going through this crazy time. We were all together and it was awesome. All right, good morning. It is day two with no power. So now we haven't had power for like 36 hours. The whole city of Austin, it's kind of crazy. Apparently Trader Joe's has like a two hour line because they've opened up and people are just like trying to get food and it's about 27 degrees is the high today. So people are just trying to stay warm. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back over to my friend's house because they have gas and I'm gonna bring mac and cheese. But honestly, like besides some mac and cheese and some like power bars, I really don't have any food. And thank goodness one of my friends actually like has this fear of running out of food so She always has like a lot of food and she's been able to feed like six of us We're super grateful that we have her and like all my friends have been like bringing everything that we have from our houses and stuff like that It's just crazy that we still don't have any power and it's literally freezing outside I was supposed to work again today and yesterday, but of course everything is closed and no one can even what the fuck no one can even like reach anyone because the cell towers are also, I don't know if they're down, but people don't, people don't have service and obviously no one has any Wi-Fi because the power grids are down. So it's just crazy. It feels like we're living in the end of the world. My roommates also put this blanket because I guess snow was coming in. Also my camera is probably going to die pretty soon and I can't obviously charge it. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, so I'm just gonna gather some stuff and then head back over to my friend's house. Guys, Guys, the power just came on. So I'm charging my phone. I'm trying to make SpaghettiOs, just whatever I can. But look at this. It is 44 degrees in here right now. It is so cold in here. I'm not even mad because I'm able to like try and cook some SpaghettiOs. Literally, like water doesn't work. And yesterday we had power for about an hour, maybe two hours at this almost exact same time. So I'm thinking that we, we only have a couple hours before it probably goes off again. Okay, update, we still have power at 4.55, but my feet are so cold 
that I'm boiling water and I'm gonna try and fill up the sink in the bathroom and like put my feet in them. They are so freaking cold. They're turning white. Look, I'll show you. Don't look too close, but like, look. Look, they're like turning white on the tips. They're so cold. My toes are so freaking cold. Okay, also they're so dirty. My feet are so cool that it like actually hurts to put them in here. So I was just looking online while I have internet and apparently the power grids, they had to turn off basically all the grids that didn't have like hospitals and important things on them. So there's so many houses without power and luckily like me and my friends are, are all gonna bring food over tonight so we have food, but guys, it is so cold and I know this whole video is basically me just talking about how cold it is. And if you hear that dripping, that's the shower. We've left it running because we also got a message saying that water pipes are probably going to start going down and to make sure you have enough water. And I don't know. I know there's a lot more people out there that are having a hard time, especially like our homeless population. Like I just hope that they're all finding places to stay and keeping warm. I definitely don't have the worst of it but it's still not fun. <laughs> New pair of socks. I'm gonna try and make some mac and cheese and then head back to my friends before the power goes out. Okay. All right, night two is starting. We have power, but for how long, no one knows. Burgers. Here's the water that we have ready to go in case the pipes freeze over. We were so lucky on the second night to have power and we ended up playing some games and talking virtually to some friends that were stranded in their homes and having a really healthy dinner, of course. I don't know, when you're just trying to make sure you have food and shelter and heat, you really appreciate all the little things and I really appreciated my friends during this time. third day of having sub-zero temperatures here in Austin and luckily we had electricity um, and running water last night. Today I'm walking back to my apartment just to make sure the pipes haven't burst and to grab my laptop and it's the most treacherous day walking to my apartment um, since this all started because as you can see now the snow is melted and refroze so everything is very slippery and what normally takes me about 10 minutes to walk has already taken me 10 minutes I'm not even halfway there so just trying to like really take my time and yeah but you know it's so crazy next week it's supposed to be like almost 70 degrees and so for it to go ooh, from this to that is wild it's global warming for you in my opinion Okay, so today is, I don't even know, third, fourth day, how long have I been filming with you guys? Um, it's gonna be the end of the vlog. I went to work again today and it wasn't that bad. I was able to get my hands on a 32 pack of water because there is now a boil water boiling recommendation so you can't drink the water, so of course everyone's buying water. But yeah, that's it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, stay warm if you're somewhere cold, bye.